check mic. All right, magandang gabi. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of The Daily Grind. Nasaan, we talk about making money in general. We focus on the stock market, but not just the stock market. We also talk about Forex, cryptocurrency, NFTs, kung saan meron tayong opportunity to earn. But tonight, is going to be a very special episode. With me is our kapayamang Arnel Pipito, and he's going to be the one leading us to talk about yung isa sa mga hottest topics right now which is the IPO of All Day Supermarket. Kapay Marnel, how are you doing, man? Hello, good evening. With uh, our, our, our segment. So, medyo matagal-tagal din ako, no? coming from coming from uh, Mega World Reach. So, right. madami-dami tayong discuss about uh, Reach. But right now, Ayan. we have... Uh, we have uh, our regular stock which is uh, i believe uh ano um, highly requested Uh-oh. so we're going to be talking about a lot more tonight so madami tayong pag-uusapan so ang um, uh, we we should be answering uh yung pinaka common question natin is it going to be the next merry mart so later <laughs> on we'll, we'll, we'll be talking about that yes yes Bam, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, may mga comments na, but a little request from our end. Please share this video. Pag share ba ito sa mga friends niyo, to your relatives na nasa stock market also, and especially to your trading groups out there. If ever may, meron kayo mga trading groups, hopefully favor po namin. Uh, we're asking this favor. Hopefully we've earned this from you guys. Please share this and help us help stocks Ed with our goal to reach every newbie na trader sa stock market at mga nagsisimula pa lang gusto talaga namin is for these newbies to start their stock market journey right para yeah, mag- yeah. ma-maintain natin sila. Karamihan sa mga tumitigil kasi nagsisimula, naiipit, napapaso, and they don't want no piece of it anymore. And that's what Stock said it's for. And if you share this to your groups, we can reach them and then we can help them. At uh, it will trickle down to everyone. Diba? Mas marami pong Pilipino na mag- uh, mag-stock market, mag-continue. It will trickle, trickle down to you and everyone in the stock market especially my investors so please hopefully you share this with us and help us with our goal yan let me go to the comments really quick magandang gabi and um ishi marimat good evening let me just switch our music sa background music na rin ayan um ishi marimat magandang, magandang gabi ruben emperador how about the sec we'll talk about that Hello, later yan uh, earl john good evening sir you mike yohenyo good evening mga idol once again we're with kapayamang arnel he is a stockbroker, he is a licensed broker, and this is his job. And that's why I love Stock said, meron tayong yung taragang nakafocus sa mga, especially fundamentals. Kapere Marinel is the, our guy. Whenever we need fundamentals, siya yung go-to guy natin. And we just request for, for his help, and he, he, he joins us. So thank you again, once again, uh, Kapere Marinel, for gracing us this evening. And Mike Uenio, good evening. Uh, Maria Eloisa Mangawang. All right, you're asking about Heg, uh, Meg. Hold pa rin po ba? Later, mag-chart tayo. Right? We're just going to be talking about uh, about um, all day. For now, we're, we're going to be officially starting at 8.10 just to cater those na mga medyo late po dumating, di ba? And also, uh, kapayaman na uh, Lloyd, ano, uh, shoutout ka lang si, ano, si Sir Jainer, my uh, client. Kanina oh. pa ito nag, ano, eh, nag-aabang ng live natin. Kasi sabi ko, <laughs> mamaya ako nasasagutin yan sa live. <laughs> all right. About, about uh, all day. So, ma uh, good evening, Sir Jainer. Uh, Jainer Dianyo, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's also a fo- avid follower of ours, yeah, uh, yeah. mga so, ventures natin. natin. So, good evening, Jainer. I'm fan natin yan. Mm, Jessica Nang, uh, thank you for tagging your friends. Uh, may update po ba sa bad news med- with MWide? I think, um, sige pre, chika muna tayo. May update ba sa bad news kay MWide? Magkaroon ng uh, bad news si MWide uh, last week, eh, di ba? Kaya bumagsak siya na gap down. Do you know anything about it? May bulong ba from you? <laughs> Actually, ano, uh, uh, we, we've seen that. But uh, malaking factor talagang profit, share, uh, profit taking starting uh, right. starting uh, uh, last week. Right. So we've seen that today. So we have a lot of uh, uh, profit taking. So mainly uh, yun yung uh, reason bakit uh, uh, medyo malaki yung mga bagsak na mga stocks natin in the 
uh, uh, Philippine Stock Exchange. Yes, definitely. Yeah, we 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 talked about it. We're still in the resistance levels kay PSEI. But Green Day si PSEI ngayon with 842 million pesos na net foreign buying. So that, that's that's a, the very least looking good for stock uh, for PSEI still, eh, diba? Al Kisto, good evening. I'm gonna go to YouTube. Mga nang kambis mga nanonood sa atin sa YouTube. And Gentile Dice, good evening. Ian Cesar Villero, good evening. Uh, Sir Lloyd, Yahoo. Sir Lloyd, ano nangyari kay MY? Bigla ang buhos. May ka- nagkaroon ng bad news last week eh. Uh, uh, the case about, ano yan, yung gumawa ng mga ghost accounts, yung mga executives uh, with the with the Cebu Airport Project. That was yeah, bad. Yeah, mga dummy accounts. Oh uh, yeah, mga dummy accounts. So, yan. so that was the reason why um, they were uh, they were reprimanded for it and that's gonna be a very big, uh, uh, that's gonna be a very big Uh, what do you call this? Uh, uh, malaking dagok. Right? Na- naubos English ko. Uh, just TV, good evening po Sir Lord. Ngayon lang ulit nakapanood ng live kasi day off ko today. Good evening. But I'm always watching good evening. Day para matuto po sa about trading. Please po check po na SMPH. Later magsachart tayo if we still have time. We're gonna be uh, today's special kasi may guest tayo. Right? Or Rod Cruz, good evening Sir Lord. Kakabalik ko lang po sa stock market ulit. Umaten po ako ng seminar niyo sa BGC Tagig last time. Good evening man. Kamusta? Rod Cruz. All right, let's go back. To, um, let's go back to uh, Facebook. Good evening. Uh, Al Kisto, Octave Carido. Good evening. Arnold Meepig, will you buy all day an IPO even value inch first uh, is at um, 40 times PER? We'll talk about that. Present, dapat daw hindi mag-absent ngayon, sabi ni Sir Lloyd. Yeah, I told you guys, Monday is going to be a very special episode. Kapayama Arnold is going to be joining us. And ayan, maraming nanonood sa atin ngayon. Well, magandang gabi ulit sa mga nanonood sa atin. Thank you for sharing the video. Hopefully, na-share nyo na. Sa so, mga hindi pa nag-share, Please share nyo na. Hindi namin sisimula ng topic kung hindi nyo pa nasi-share. Biro lang. <laughs> it's already 8.10 and it's about time to start. Kapayam Arnel, please um, share your knowledge with us. Take, go ahead. All right. Thank you so much uh, for for inviting me again uh, here at the Daily Grind. Uh, Kapayam and Lloyd. My, by the way, uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Arnel. I'm a uh, portfolio manager. I'm also one of the co-founders of uh, uh, Stocks Ed. So right now I know uh ano to highly requested na topic natin that we're going to talk right. about tonight. So uh, yeah, we're going to talk about uh, all day. So basically um kanina mga 1:30 p.m. Uh, we had our uh, IPO briefing with with the man himself uh, uh Manny Villar. Uh, Manny. So yeah, so basically Di Manny <laughs> 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 so so yon uh Manivilio was talking about uh the vision of the the company uh but basically right now we're not going to talk about uh yung um yo we're going basically we're going to talk about my person cons we we're going to talk about uh ano yung mga insights natin and uh yeah we're not going right. to hype this Uh, because what we want here in stock said for you to be able to have the last say right. and um, for you to be able to weigh down and decide so even uh, I'll be talking about some convincing may mga points that you think the convincing points but uh, <laughs> do not take our words for it do not take my word for it uh, just um, dig down uh, research uh, right. Uh, check talaga because it's your own uh, hard-earned money. And at the end of the day, um, yeah, here at Stockset, we don't want you to, we don't force you to do something in your investments. All right, All right so... I add to that lang konti. Um, kasi sa stocks briefing, it's it's a different case. Even if it's it's, it's Sir Manny Villar that's talking, sa kanila kasi it's sales. They want to sell their company, so they yeah, get yeah. really focus on the good parts para bilhin at ipagkalat yan ng mga na portfolio managers to... Uh, To their uh, to their clients, constituents, etc. So here we filter it. We will not want. We don't want to sell it, and that's the beauty of stock said. Go ahead. And, I, re- yeah. and I remember, sabi po, di ba sabi ni Warren Buffett about uh, IPO? An IPO is like a negotiated transaction. Right. The seller chooses when to come public, and it's unlikely to be a time that's favorable to you. Right. So So basically, uh, yeah, uh, we ju- we don't predict. Uh, predict the 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 move of the the IPO, but we're there to take advantage. Kung tumaas man siya, true, and we sell at a favorable price. All right, so yeah, so basically all day. Um, sabi pa ni Sir Manny, this is the future of supermarket. May tanong sa kanya ano the difference with the uh, with uh, all day to, di ba? Uh, we know yung yeah, mga 
uh, yung other comp- competitors niya, Pure Gold, or HI, mm. SM Supermarket, uh, Supermarket, uh, MSG, Mary Mart, sabi niya, uh, sabi niya sa, sa nagtanong na ano, I know you haven't been to uh, all day because if you've been there, you will know kung ano yung difference now with others. Sure. So yeah, sabi niya, this is the future of supermarket. And uh, sabi niya to to describe it, have you seen my coffee project? Sabi niya, it's like a coffee, coffee project of uh, the supermarket. So basically, yun yung pinaka idea niya about uh, What's really the target market of uh, All Day? Basically, um, All Day is a leading player in mid premium supermarkets segment. So upper middle class yung ano nila. Uh, uh, no wonder dito sa Eastwood may malapit lang dito yung All Day. And uh, uh, due to increasing seg- uh, segment of middle class pop- population, yung uh, upper middle class income nila is around seven seventy six thousand average income. Right. So yun yung pumapasok sa or yun yung customer base nila yun yung pumapasok sa bubili sa sa all day so yeah basically that's it and if, if going back to our question could this be really the next uh, merry march siguro some of you ano na gusto na mag november 3 <laughs> um, the the ipo time for you to be able to experience yeah highlights natin uh, I, uh, all day is a small growth stock Small growth company, five years pa siya uh, in, uh, in, in business. Right. Uh, and then, but uh, right now, they're gearing towards e-commerce. So, yun yung maganda sa kanila. Uh, take advantage nila yung pand- pandem- uh, pandemic. And good thing about e-commerce, cheaper yung uh, profit margin. Right. Uh, uh, cheaper yung margin. So, basically, they can earn much. Uh, but this is smaller than pure gold. Uh, and we like uh, consumer staples because they are resilient. And... That's what we see. And good thing about as well, uh, just to let you know about this IPO, another IPO with Villiard Brother to be launched, uh, I think in November, that's uh, the uh, Medline. Uh, it's going to be public. So it, it could uh, help um, uh, getting more investors. Sa nakikita naman natin today, di ba, bumabagsak yung mga recent IPOs, like Converge, nag-11% down. Uh, kanina, so mm-hmm. uh, uh, Monden uh, bumagsak 7%. Uh, we see the behavior na could be, I'm not sure 100%, could be their, their taking profit to save so that they can allocate for, for, for this type of right. uh, IPOs. So, yun yung nakikita natin. Um, well, basically, aesthetic touch, um, makikita natin all days, they're different from others. Uh, but my key... Um, points that we need to look at uh they have 33 total stores um they're aiming to have 100 stores by 2026 um and it's going to be 6 billion market cap after ipo just to give you context on this uh i think mary mark is around 7 uh 7.78 billion when they they had their ipo so medyo ano to medyo um magaan to dan uh, Mary Mart and we see Mary Mart I think I, I I know yun yung pinaka basis natin bakit possible lilipad si si uh, yun lang yung kailangan ng marinig ng mga tao <laughs> para magbuy na <laughs> but uh, just to make uh, just na, to yeah just to however uh for you to have a um, proper uh, judgment on this uh uh, mga companies of uh, Villiard or Villiard Group, uh, si Vistaland, uh, during IPO, uh, hanggang ngayon down siya ng uh, 5.44%. Uh, All Home, down siya from IPO 36%. Uh, but Golden Haven then, or Golden Bria, uh, right now still at 4,200% from IPO. Right. Now, let's talk about profit. Very important. Uh, again, we're... we're Talking a lot more about IPO. No, every time I, I I'm here. Number one, uh, when we are uh, looking about IPO, we check on recent na mga profits. Uh, we check on the strategies and very important kung saan yung proceeds use of proceeds first right. to be able to see and valuation. We're we're going to talk about that. Uh, Papiawan ng natin. So profit sales nila 
First half, 2020 versus 2021, up sila 19.70%. Good yan. Uh, net income, first half, 2020 versus 2021, uh, 58.80%. Good number so and far. Then 58%? Uh, 58.80%. Uh, that's really good. Um, net income, total sales of their e-commerce uh, business increase of 3% first half. Uh, competitors nasa average 2.5%. Now, um, ano naman yung growth strategies nila? So basically, expand stores to 100 stores by 2026. They are going to focus more on e-commerce, logistics, and uh, technology. Uh-huh. Now, ito na pinaka one of the most important um, part for you to be able to decide the use of proceeds. Right. Again, uh, listen up on this. Uh, 79%, 79.60%, they're going to use their uh, proceeds to pay debts that has 8% interest uh, borrowed uh, main uh, majority from Union Bank. So, yun yung pinakaano. But, uh, hindi naman everything is bad about it. Uh, it will save uh, 206.40 million good for uh, three to- three stores already. And of course, when they already pay their debts, uh, they can focus more on their Expansion profit margin. Well. Expansion. Uh, not, uh, the 20% remaining, 20.40%, it's going to be uh, on their CapEx. Uh, Capital, uh, by 2022, they're going to add uh, 45 stores and uh, 100 by uh, 2026. So basically, the IPO proceed can build uh, 10 to 12 stores. And then the rest, uh, yun yung mga existing na yun yung mag, uh, finance with, uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, their uh, profit generating na, uh, na mga stores nila. Right, right. Now, uh, we are going to talk about dividend. So, very important uh, kasi mga investors tayo, we w- would want as well to take a look on the dividend. So, basically, according to the, their uh, dividend policy, uh, 10 to 30% of, uh, will be taken uh, to be given for, for dividend, uh, net income after tax, although uh, the board will still determine the dividend. But uh, looking uh, on their number, so this is going to be around uh, 2 one to two percent uh, dividend yield or three percent max. See, this is really not a dividend play, especially yeah. with this. Annual uh, yon, two to three percent, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, with this type of uh, with this type of se- sector, uh, hindi siya pang dividend play. Now valuation. Um, talking about uh, ma- mahal ba siya, mura ba siya. So uh, projected P in 2022, assuming babayaran nila yung uh, debts then mag-improve yung margin nila, profit margin nila, uh, all day would be around uh, 21.2 uh, times PE. Um, compare that with uh, pure gold, uh, that's going to be 12.5 times PE. Uh, retail sector, mas, mas ano siya, mas uh, mura siya with, with 23.5 uh, times PE. Now, uh, let's compare it to other peers. Uh, just, just uh, but in lang, uh, or you can interrupt me. Uh, no, no, no problem. Mm-hmm. Now let's uh, let's going to talk about uh, comparison naman to other peers. Uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. G, which is guys, uh, they're just four billion uh, market cap. Uh, all day would be Mrs. G, kasi parang similar siya with with the business and also with with uh, with store presence. Uh, Mrs. G, uh, 4 billion versus 6 billion with all day. Uh, Mrs. G has already, uh, I think, 56 total stores. Uh, all day right now, five years in business, uh, has uh, 33 stores. And uh, for me, medyo may pagka expensive siya. Right, true. Uh, 4 billion, and then we have uh, 6 billion. But still, uh, Smaller market cap than uh, uh, Merrimart, which is uh, 7.59 billion from uh, IPO. Now looking on again uh, for us to be able to, medyo nasa gitna tayo hindi tayo sobrang excited. Baka kasi mm-hmm. biglang biglang ma- makapagloan ka para bumili lang ng IPO. Right. So KPPI um, 385 million yung 
uh, market cap after IPO, uh, Mary Mart uh, as well, uh, Wilcon 7 billion and Monday 49 billion. So uh, now, uh, question. Siguro question din. Then, ano ba talaga yung recommendation? Is it a buy? Is it a sell? Now for me, as I see the numbers, um, this is more of a speculative play. Right. Uh, but for me, it's a buy. Uh, actually, I'll, I've already bought it, a uh, small portion. Uh, uh, but uh, for me, I see it's a uh, uh, speculation. Uh, right. So I set around uh, 5% or less stop loss. Um, possible upward trajectory due to good market environment. Kasi even before, di ba, yung para medyo sideways, yung mga REITs natin, yung market natin at that time, medyo uh, maganda yung performance okay. that could be. Uh, Mag-continue, possible profit sharing, as, uh, profit taking as well sa mga reset na mga IPOs, mainly to reallocation. Eh, nakita naman natin ngayon with what happened with Converge and Mondinisen. So, uh, reallocating for this um, IPO, especially with all day. Oh, definitely. So, yeah. Um, important note lang, guys. Uh, Kapar- Kapiyama Arnel, uh, he's be- being transparent with his, uh, his uh, what do you call this? His va- what do you call- I won't call it valuation, but his uh, strategy for all day. He is going to be applying a speculative play. Pag speculative play, and when you're speculating, you're somehow gambling, right? He's playing with uh, his, uh, his using... Uh, the odds in his favor. The market environment is good uh, considering yung mga ibang mga IPOs were doing well. So, uh, it might do well, right? During IPO day. But, it, I always tell you this, guys, speculation is gambling. So, konti ingat lang if you really want to go with speculative play also, only use a small amount, a small portion of your, ano, a small portion of your uh, of your funds. It's not really a strong buy. So, kaya, hindi nyo kailangan mang umutang or really uh, b- build funds for it, right? Ar- uh, kap- uh, according to Kopea Marnell, it's not going to be doing that. Uh, he's going to be allotting a, l- a small amount lang, a, m- a small portion of the funds lang that he's handling. There's a very good question right here from U- Eugene Carlo Miguel. Do you think 70% debt payment is too much for an IPO? How would all they be able to assure investors the growth of the company from now and moving forward? Yeah, basically, as uh, what I've said earlier, uh, debt repayment is not really uh, 100% a bad thing. Right. Because once they paid the, the obligation, actually, that's 8% uh, that uh, is eating their profit margin. Mm-hmm. So once they paid on that, uh, that's going to increase the, their profit margin. And basically, that could uh, improve their sales. Right. And uh, if they are able to reach on that, uh, uh, or yun yung result could be realized, so right. we'll be able to see. Uh, good uh, valuation and True. good as well, good uh, income. True. It's a good strategy. Kesa naman nagbabayad kayo ng interest sa banko, bayaran yun lang interest sa banko and that's gonna add 8% to your income moving forward, di ba? Hindi na kayo mawawala ng 8% since nabayaran yun ang utang yun then the earnings now can be focused on to uh, deve- for the future development and expansion. It's it's okay. It's a good strategy. It's not... And it's, what, um, I, what I like about them uh, when they're presenting it, especially with the uh, the three payment they're not really uh, hiding it, hiding it they're they're even um, highlighting it right so this is what we need uh, we want to pay our debt kasi yung ibang mga ipo they're just parang nagsha-sugar si coat pa right? or something mm-hmm. or but they're 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 highlighting it and uh, as we see they I, I think they're sincere about it that uh, they they want to improve their sales talaga their new in business but mm-hmm. they want to uh, maximized the potential of the company and also their their goal especially uh they want to uh, they want to compete as well with the uh, market leaders and going to youtube cesar Gayola says all day is like cold storage of singapore high percentage of premium brands and items yes kasi uh yun yung target market sa nila uh, small kids good evening bossing cesar Gayola. proceeds is very transparent ganun din naman ang majority 
ng mga nag-IPO. They just don't want to be bold about it is uh, that people won't be discouraged. Pang Christmas play ba daw? <laughs> speculative play according to Kapayamang Arnel. Um, since speculative play ang gagawin mo Kapayamang Arnel, what is your time frame for holding the stock after IPO? So basically, um, I, I would say hold it. Uh, once hindi pa matama ang pinaka-importante lang naman nun hindi matama yung stop loss ko True. so it's really up to me uh, when I hold it uh, when, uh, how long would I be able to hold it it's not a question of how long basta as long as hindi ko matatamaan yung stop loss ko that should be good right true um, ang ganda strategy dito is if it goes up and doesn't hit your stop loss since umakit siya and then you see weakness in the future, you can sell some of the portion and then mag-trailing stop loss na lang kayo. Meaning, um, yung trend line ang gawin niyo yung support. And if it breaks the trend line, then you can take profits all of it. And at that, yeah, yeah. you will end up with a, with a favorable trade along the road. All right? So, hindi naman kasi natin mahulaan hanggang kailan. Eh. Diba? Prince Carl, eh, if I'm correct, MRSGI's IPO is only around 4 billion, lower than MM all day. Upon checking, it's chart, mukhang nag-fail sila sa IPO nila. Any take on this po? Thank you. Yeah, so uh, again, uh, basically with IPO, um, IPO sometimes uh, going up, IPO sometimes going down. Right. Even yung mga valuation natin are, and numbers are good, but uh, during IPO, buyers and sellers will decide bagsak. Uh, as we see, erit ganun din. Uh, mm-hmm. Ganda ng it's an Ayala stock, but uh, first day, bumagsak. So basically, it's really up on the buyers and sellers. They would True. be the one to uh, to decide um, during day one. Tsaka si MRSGI is different. Um, this is Manny Villar, very known, especially sa Luzon. That's, very, uh, that's a power play right there. MRSGI kasi malakas sa uh, Visayas area, especially Cebu. Uh, kaya nga si Cebu Landmasters, even if it's a very good company, hirap siya lumipad. Uh, MRSGI, uh, is, even if it's a good company, hirap siya lumipad because they're visible only in Cebu and Visayas provinces where karamihan ng mga investors is in Luzon. So it's a, it's a somehow different situation for both. So yeah. Daniel, um, sabi ni Jenner, Jenner, haha sir, copy ko nilang strategy mo. <laughs> right? Kayo na bahala. <laughs> we, we're not saying you copy it. It's up to you guys. So what you think is... Uh, uh, what you think is good we're just say- saying this to add to your in- uh, to add inputs to your decision making in the end it will be up to you daniel melchor ilan po sir ilan po sir ang market cap upon ipo kaka tune in lang all right um i mentioned that earlier it is going to be at f- um 6.6 6 billion market cap after ipo all right uh that is lower than mm right uh, 7 million uh, 7 billion si mm Alright, so any other questions for uh, Kapayamang Arnel? Kapayamang Arnel, do you, do you want to add something about it? Yeah, especially with with um, uh, with this type of stock, um, mm-hmm. a very um, small market cap. So we see uh, volatility of uh, this stock. Right. So kung nasanay ka with REITs, uh, medyo suabe lang yung galaw, then uh, you have to... Uh, you have to take a look on this on a, a different um, angle. Right. Uh, but uh, yeah, stick to your trading plan uh, since um, um, you're invested into it and you know the numbers and you know uh, uh, where to cut uh, just in case it's going down and when to sell right. and take advantage or maximize your profit. All right. So... Eugene ni Carlo Miguel said, good point kanina sa seminar with Manny Villar kasi sinabi niya na um, madaming hindi yumayaman kasi yung mga tao hindi na nagtatake risk. Further, he stated na ito na yung time to invest kasi kung next year pa, wala na, nalakalipad na lahat kasi COVID will ease out by then. All right, Good point. Magandang point naman yon, But... You have to filter the sales part kasi. So, oh. you have to be... Yeah. Especially si Manny Villar, hindi na naging, naging one of the richest persons in the Philippines kung hindi siya magaling mag-market. So, that's uh, one of his uh, strength. Uh-huh. But yeah, yeah. Uh, good uh, point yan uh, that, uh, that uh, he's uh, sharing. Yeah, that's why Kapema Arnel, he said that he is going to be risking some of his um, portfolio into it. 
uh, but the strategy is just gonna be speculative play. If ever he needs to cut loss, he will be cutting cut losses at around five percent loss now. So. Uh, at the very least, Kapema Arnal is uh, transparent with his strategy. And you can apply it. It's up to you. Uh, we're just uh, sharing to you guys what is what, what are, uh, what, uh, the, all the data you need and a little bit of our ideas. Uh, but in the end, it will be up to you to decide. All right. Um, let me see if so YouTube, if ever we have any more questions. Um, so far, it's so good. Um, not, not, I think Kapema Arnel was able to really give all the information needed about the IPO. Uh, if you have any questions or if you have any, um, if you have friends who ask questions, please share them in this video, okay? Wag nyo kang alimutan. Gilier, uh, Villiflor, thank you for the insights. Uh, Sir Nell and Sir Lloyd, na filter na po yung bagong bago daw po kasi sa kanila and it is the future standard of supermarkets. I can't really say because iba yung, uh, iba yung, uh, what do you call this? Iba yung target market nila. They're like Rustans na nasa middle to high class. Malakas pa rin naman yung ano. Uh, I tell you honestly, the lower class is still majority of the market and they're not ready, ready for that. So, um, hopefully it's good. Uh, since um, paganda naman ng paganda ang mga situation ng buhay ng mga Pilipino. So, Melvin Desena, ilang shares po bibilin nyo during RPO? Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you ready to, to be this transparent? Kapayamang... <laughs> Secret lang yan, secret. Secret lang yan. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi kami ready maging ganyan ka-transparent, ma. Uh -oh. <laughs> Melvin. Pasensya na. Alright, so I guess that's all the question for Kapayama Arnel. Once again, Kapayama Thank you, thank you guys. Kapayama Arnel, thank you so much for gracing us. We won't hold you for long, but if ever we have any questions, ako na magtatanong kay Kapayama Arnel. We can always invite, invite him in the future. So chat, say thank you to our guest for this evening, Kapayama Arnel. God bless. Uh, see you next time. Sa susunod na IPO, Thank meron pala labas eh, di ba? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Alright, sige, sige. Magandang gabi. Thank you, man. Bye-bye. Alright. Alright, nagustuhan nyo ba yung topic natin this evening? Time check tayo. It's 8.35. It's, uh, thank you, Kapay Marnel. Yeah. Hi, mga sirs. Magandang gabi. Alright, so, Jelerios, magandang gabi. Uh, thanks for tuning in. This is recorded, so you can always replay this if ever late kayo pumasok. Tulad ni, uh, tulad ni, are uh, ni Jelerios <laughs> ni, ni Brian Ball right ni Brian Ball <laughs> kakapasok lang daming pera yan si Kapayaman <laughs> from Prince Carl oh yaman noon ning yaman noon right so yeah um let me just uh kumusta 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 ang weekend ninyo uh, beautiful monday to everyone as beautiful as PSEI right now ayan um update ulit tayo i'm going to just going to be sharing my screen really quick and po, PSEI closed at 7219, maintaining the 7,200 level. But this time, we have net foreign, bar, uh, net foreign buying at 847 million. That's a lot. So that's good. Good. Overall, the volume nga lang ng PSEI is not really that spiking. So, um, best bet is to say that it is on an uptrend, pero we're reaching very strong resistances at these levels. And yun yung sinasabi natin, uh, elections are coming up. Elections are starting to really, really turn hot in the country. So that might slow the market down because that w those are uncertainties. And uncertainties tend to make uh, investors turtle up. Diba? Uh, mga papansin natin yan ng mga take profits. Um, kanina, ang dami ng mga take profits. Eh, diba? Sir, when ka mag-take up ng Synergy... Uh, may, uh, when ma-take up ang Synergy FOO? Um... Yeah, I'm gonna be asking Arnel about it, right? Uh, I saw that news kanina na mag-FOOC uh, mag uh, si Synergy kasi. Alright, so you guys, if ever gusto nyo mag-charting, ano, mag oh pala! Hindi nyo ba napansin yung post ko on uh, Friday evening? This close at two ta 233%, di ba? Last, uh, last Friday, I told you guys, pag nag-meet itong pula tsaka yellow na linya dito, uh, let me reset the zoom. Itong pula tsaka... <laughs> yellow na linya na yan, lilipad ang positions natin. This close at 233%, pero nagbenta siya ng mga scot loss positions, now it's back at 216. But nonetheless, 216% already in our Izanagi. That's crazy gains right there. This is just in 10 months. Alright, hopefully may Izanagi na kayo. Marami nang start sa atin sa Izanagi dahil dito. Please just don't enter because of the recent na mga ano. Uh, development. Uh, past kasi na performance, 
performance of Izanagi in the past does not really indicate na ganito rin mangyayari in the next 10 months, right? Um, 216% is crazy gains. But this is, o- mind you, ha, this is only possible because of my drawdown settings right here, which is 50%. Hopefully, kaya niyan. At one point, magsisimula kayo at 100K, at one point, my portfolio dropped 50,000 pesos. I lost, paper loss lang naman, lost 50,000 pesos. But this 216% is not possible if not for this drawdown, right? Tingnan nyo yung isang, uh, isang isanagi ko. Uh, this, is, this account is already up 16.78%. Started August 22, 25% po ang drawdown settings nito. Pinakamababang dinating ng drawdown niya is 28%, right? So, mas maliit yung kitaan niya. But 16% in just August, September. September, October. Two months! 16%. That's crazy gains right there. Izanagi. This is, I made this account public to you guys. Started with $500. Now it's at $625 in two months. What if, uh, basta, percentage lang tignan nyo. Kung linagay nyo dyan, 100K. That's already 16K gains already for you in two months. That's crazy numbers right there. Izanagi. Start na kayo, please. Andyan po sa video description yung, uh, what do you call this? Yung... Uh, video about Izanagi for you to know more about it I strongly recommend you test it out check, you watch it so you'll understand what Izanagi is and dun din po yung back testing that's how you know if a bot is good and we tested out Izanagi watch that video and dun din po yung uh, registration link ng Izanagi dyan sa video description hopefully uh, sumama kayo and uh, partnership natin with Axis we are Everyone's earning already. Mayro mga scholar na 200, 150 SLPs a day. Uh, mayro mga 182. But this is earning already. Yung mga nakipag partner sa kina Axi is already earning. And that's it, that's it right there. Right? There are still more coming kasi may nakipag partner pa sa atin. Over the weekend, just in case, right? Gusto nyo mag diversify into NFTs, right? If you want to diversify into NFTs, pero ayon yung sakit ng ulo. Right, hit me up. Ako na bahala. Right, ako na bahala sa sakit ng ulo ninyo. Uh, I'm gonna be the one to look for the, the axis, yung pera, yung 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 crypto jan, etc. Uh, looking for scholars, uh, monitoring the scholars, motivating them, etc. Lat na sakit ng ulo ako na bahala and, and we're gonna be partnering up para wala na kaisipin. Right, send me a message. If, uh, if you want to uh, if you want to join and partner up Axi with me Sir Izanagi 2 weeks 14% Alan Gallardo amazing congratulations man <laughs> congratulations man 14% in 2 weeks that's crazy di ba? Sir ano po take nyo sa bagong rules ng Axi I love it right um, maraming mga players na yung mga naglalaro lang for the heck of it uh, kahit na malita lang kita nila it's gonna be bad for them but that little portion of uh, of Axie players are going to be hit kasi below 800 na MMR, meaning yung ranking system nila. MMR, it's called MMR, right? Um, pinakamataas right now is around more than 3,000. Average around 1.5 to 1.8. Uh, you start earning ngayon at 800 MMR pataas. If you're below 800 MMR, kung pangit ang Axie mo, hindi ka talaga marunong maglaro, wala ka nang kikitain. And I love that um, earnings-wise. Because isa sa challenge talaga si SA Axie is really malaki pa rin ang namimint na SLPs. And without the 800 below na nagmimint ng MMRs daily, because uh, that's still that's still a lot. One one account can uh, at least earn 75 SLPs a day, right? With with the, uh, at least, di ba? So maraming accounts na mawawalan yan. Bad for those players, but it will be good for the overall environment of Axie. So I like that, right? Alright, um, yeah, so um, this is for, actually, if ever gusto niyo makipag-partner sa akin ko para wala kayo sakit sa ulo, ako bahala sa inyo, man. Send me a message in Financial Freedom 101. Alright, so, yan. Um, let's go. Uh, tingnan ko kung meron na tayong mga requests para makapag-charting tayo. Um, Zorlak, D9, good evening, Sir Lord. AEV and JGS, is it a buy na po, Sir? Let's check out AEV. AEV, mm-hmm. is it a buy already? Um, overall, downtrend pa naman pinapakita niya. But yeah, there is a support right here for AEV. That could be something. Short-term trade, that support right there is. Could be your buy area. Hopefully, you can enter near that. That's for AEV. JGS, nagigunababasa yung comment. JGS still on a downtrend, my friend. Meron tayong konting ano dito. 
Meron tayong konting, uh, what do you call this, um, support right here for JGS. Uh, this is the best entry right here. Pasukin niyo sa support if ever makapasok kayo. Uh, you can't call it a buy still kasi may resistance pa rin tayo dyan na pababa. Uh, kung mag-breakout man dyan, then that's gonna be a good entry. Join ako sa Axis, Sir Lord. Nakitiwala ko sa'yo from Jose Marie Twazon. Send me a message sa Financial Freedom 101. Wag dito sa Stockset. Kasi dito sa Stockset, kasama ko sila kapag yung mga Arnel, uh, sila Tito Boni, uh, sila Pia. Baka sabihin nila, ano po tong message na makipag-join sa Axis sa, sa, sa Stockset? Uh, they don't know about it. <laughs> right? sa, sa Financial Freedom 101 nyo po isend. Alright, thank you so much, Jose Marie Twazon. Know that, Whenever you partner up with me, makahanap tayong isang scholar, you're giving a job to someone who is in need, right? So, hopefully, you partner up, right? Vince um, Ariola, good evening, Sir Lloyd. Pacheck po ng Meg, please. Um, well, let's check it out. Um, Alan Gallardo, once again, thank you so much for uh, congratulations on your uh, 14% earnings ka Izanagi in just two weeks. Ang perfect ng pasok ninyo. Yun yung pagpasok ninyo na nag-drop yung mga position. Sabi ko sa inyo, pag nag, nag ano yan, nag- na, uh, what do you call this? When it goes up, it's gonna go up big. 14% in two weeks. Two weeks, amazing. Sino dyan? Um, balitaan nyo nga ako, chat, let me know magkano yung earnings niyo in percentage lang uh, sa comments. Let me know. Right? So, moving forward, um, may uh, tanong, good evening, Sir Lloyd, pacheck po ang Meg, please. Di ba take profits na to si Meg? Uh, should be take profits already. Yes, that's take profits for Meg. Actually, nung pula pa, that's already take profits sa Meg. We uh, we called Meg dito sa baba. I said, bodegahin nyo yan. We were able to earn from it. You should be taking profits already kay Meg. Um, take some profits and and uh, if ever you want to buy more, dyan po sa support. Uh, April, ilaw. Good evening. Sir Lloyd, good evening po. Any insights po kay dito and Seb, salamat po. Interested ako isa nagi how to join po. And dyan sa video description, may registration link dyan. Maybe I can put it in the comments also para hindi nyo kailangan hanapin. One moment, uh, register. Registration to kagad ha, pero hindi, if, if, if ever hindi nyo pa napapanood yung about Izanagi na video, puntahan ninyo dyan sa video description. Andyan yung video for Izanagi. Struggling to, uh, still, still struggling to create Izanagi account. Jelerius. Um, saan ka banda nagkakaroon ng problema pre? Earl John Sir Insight kay Baba pasama din po sa FBN Apple. Alright, let's check it out. This is from Earl John Ginto. Uh, Baba, Alibaba, uh, huh? gumagawa ng resistance si Alibaba pre ah, dito. Um, as much as possible, gusto ko mag-pullback si Alibaba. Hopefully, bigyan tayo ng position dito sa baba. Rate for Alibaba. Resistance is there, breakout na lang. If ever you wanna go into Baba, FB, right? Facebook, these were buys already. I told you to buy these guys already. Pag susunod na green kay Facebook, that's a buy. Apple, APL, told you a buy already here on the support and there it is, lumilipad na. Overall, it's still a buy for me si Apple. Right, um, April Ilaw, insights po kay Dito and Seb. Let's check out Dito. Right, Dito, yan, bumabagsak pa si Dito. Um, I would say, bodegahin nyo na to. Next green or if ever mag-support man and it goes green, that is gonna be your buy for Dito. Right? That's the dip that you are looking for. Si Seb naman, mukhang okay na to si Seb. Eh. Nagpo-pullback. Yeah. Um, next green kay Seb is gonna be your buy for Cebu Pacific. Um, sa paggawa ng MT4, sir. I'm not sure um, bakit nahihirapan kayo gumawa ng MT4. Is it because you're not from Philippines or what? Uh, bakit bro? Bakit kayo nahihirapan gumawa ng MT4? Let me go to YouTube really quick. Magandang gabi ulit. Um... Let me just uh, refresh. Nawala ba yung live natin sa YouTube? Or is it just my streaming here? Monitoring streaming, nawala. It's not refreshing. One moment. Uh-oh. I think may problema sa YouTube. Um, pasensya na sa mga nanonood sa YouTube. Nagkaroon tayo ng problema. You can transfer to Facebook lang muna. I'm not sure if ever we're still live on YouTube or not. Let me just, uh, one moment. Let me just check. YouTube.com, Financial Freedom 101. All right, still, still. Oh, uh, Kinder Joy! What? New pin chat, and So, sir, what's your thoughts on Seb? 50% of my portfolio is allocated. Cesar Gayala, sabi, sabi natin na dito yung best buy, eh, ba? So, hopefully, nakapag-buy na kayo. It's still on an uptrend still. So, that's still looking good. Hopefully, nakapag-take profits ka na ng konti. And then hopefully the trend holds. Um, sell nilang pag ever 
naputol na yung ano. Sir, makabili nga ulit ng stocks, tagal na rin walang puhunan. We'll check on Izanagi, sir. Ayan ko. Uh, good evening, Sir Lloyd. Ganda po ng Dota 2 TI kagabi. 900 million sa nanalo na Dota. Team Spirit. Right? Underdogs, man. Galing. Right? Um, who would have thought? Ha? Huh? Dota 2, laro lang yan. 900 million pesos po. Halos isang billion ang cash price nung nanalo right ng champion. Still, the overall price pool was 40 million. 40 million dollars is around 2 billion pesos. That's crazy for a game. Right? That's, that's the reason why I am uh, I'm still looking into gaming industry. It's still entertainment and it's still sobra lakas. Rod Cruz, Sir Lloyd, ipit ako sa DMW. San po ba pwede mag-average down? Thank you. DMW. <coughs> Dice, saya, congratulations to uh, Izanagi Holder. Saya na weekends. Dice, how much did you earn in percentage? Um, how high pa? How high is IPO play when can you stay in? St- uh, that is strong po. Right, um, you can't really say, right? Um, as long as the trend line holds. DMW, uh, ipit ka kay DMW. I don't want you to add funds kay DMW anymore. Uh, what I can recommend is watch my video, go to YouTube, search for uh, Average Down Lloyd Bazaar. Look for the video that uh, that says how to average down without adding funds, right? Pwede kayo mag-average down without adding funds Uh, on your uh, on your position i will recommend that for dmw okay um just tv okay naman po live news sir good evening sir lloyd 14% din profit ko isanagi within two weeks nerf 16 congratulations any thoughts about ar tagal ko na kasi nag close port nag close ng port what do you mean nag close ng port yeah hindi nyo binabuksan ng portfolio nyo ar oh no no this is a reversal right here um next green is gonna be your buy for uh ar Alberido Primex, patingin, TP na ba? Let's check out Primex, PRMX. Um, TP na ba? Versus resistance right here. Pag pumulihan sa resistance, take profits, man. Alright, going back to Facebook. Alright, since hindi po auto-compounding si Izanagi, what should I do with the profit po? I-withdraw na? Or can it be added as capital? Auto-compounding po yan. Hindi pa lang ginagalaw kasi hindi pa, um, hindi pa yan... Um, hindi pa dumarating sa um, settings niya to auto-compound. But yeah, if ever you notice na hindi talaga naka-auto-compound, um, ask the admin, right? Si admin niya mag-check niyan. It should be auto-compounding, right? Jeleros deal, kasi yung nangyayari dyan is naka-open na siya ng positions and then pag take profits, yung current positions, hindi pa niya na, nagagamit yung, uh, yung, uh, yung, yung, yung amount. Jeleros deal, uh, download, lang yung gagawin sa MT4, sir. The setup will be done by the admin. Once you're logged in as MT4, okay na po yun. As long as, uh, as long as nakaset up niyo account. Yes, totoo yan. Um, sir, this is from, ito, tiyan lang ha. Brian Tonua. How about VUL? Let's check out VUL. Guys ha, um, I'm open to par- partnership to Axie, right? If ever you want to diversify in the NFTs, uh, I strongly recommend it. Right. Um. Uh. Yung partnership natin with the with how the players are performing. Uh. Partners should be able to receive around three thousand to four thousand a month. Right. Three thousand to four thousand pesos a month. That's already very good for a sixty thousand uh, pesos na investment. Right. That's already very good. Um. And then, yeah. Uh. If ever, pwede natin ibenta yung axis mo in the future. And you can always get the money back once we sell natin. So technically, passive income na yan for you guys. 3,000 to 4,000 for 60,000 60, investment is like, gumawa, mas, laki, mas malaki po yung kinikita mo sa paggawa ng boarding house, right? Mas mahal maggawa ng boarding house. Tapos around 5,000 a month kinikita mo, right? Dito, it's all passive income. The good thing about Axie as an, uh, as an asset is that hindi siya tulad ng bahay or sasakyan na nagde-degrade kasi nasisira, etc. Right? It is digital. It is at it is as is. One year from now, it it will be as is. Right? So yeah. Um. Again, hit me up in Financial Freedom One One once uh, if you ever decide to partner up. VUL supports right here. Enter there. Cut plus below that. Asa na ako. For long term, sana sir, more passive income na din ako. Thank you. This is from Earl John Ginto. Asan yun? Saan ito? 
Melvin Desena, saan maganda mga entry kay Aizen? I'm not able to see my ano, live stream sa YouTube. Alright? Um, whenever I refresh, it just shows like this. So, I'm natatakot ako baka masira. So, studio.youtube.com Do it later. Uh, asan yung live ko? Is this the one? Ayun, yun, nag-show up na. Okay na ulit. Right, so, I'm able to see it once again. Right, um, how much minimum um, partnership sa Axie? It's around 60,000 pesos, right? Uh, Jason, sir, insights po sa Mon, then Converge Cures to then sa Izanagi, we'll watch it. Alright, let's check these out. Um, Asen, saan magandang entry? Wala pa. Because hindi pa natin alam hanggang saan yung uh, downtrend na yan. Alright, this is the reason why I told you guys do not chase it. Kasi sayang lang. Alright, ang daming magandang position sa baba. Doon dapat. Nerfe, um, yun. Congratulations once again. 14% in two weeks for your Izanagi. Um, Primex, tab tab tapos na. Good evening, sir. Thoughts on DMC? Right, DMC and Sec B. Right, DMC, no buy zone. Stay away from it. Um, DMC, Sec B, Security Bank. Yan. So, ganda ng Security Bank. Um, pull back and bounce. We have an uptrend right here. Dito natin pasuhukin. Huwag dyan sa taas. O, abangan nyo lang muna yung pull back niya. Um, Dice, Lloyd, 18% pa lang. Gain is a nagi. Almost one month pa lang. Alright. Most probably, mas lower yung uh, yung risk settings ninyo kaya mas maliit others are risking it man so mas malaki yung kitaan nila but it uh, that's what you get really for ano, for the for the drawdown settings talaga right just expect na mas lesser yung kitaan nyo but wag kayo mainggit right? follow what is comfortable sa inyo sa drawdown settings nyo kay Izanagi um, Jason Sir Insights po kay Monday Converge curious din po kay Izanagi will watch it Converge, C-N-V-R-G. Converge is on a downtrend, my friend. That's the reason why I told you to stay away from it. Para hindi kami ipit dyan. Still on a downtrend. Also, Monday, uh, take profit still on a downtrend. I told you to stay away from those also. Um, uh, yun. Uh, hit me up. Send, send me a message to Financial Freedom 101 so gusto makipag-partner sa akin, okay? Uh, Sir MPI and F. Jen. Uh, Eugene Miguel. MPI. Let's check out MPI. Time check, it's 8.55. So, bilisan ko lang to, guys, ha? Um, MPI, ooh, sobrang ganda. Right, we talked about this breakout kay MPI. That was a good entry point. Pull back and bounce lang po kay MPI. Hopefully mag pull back na siya. Huwag nyo nga abulin dyan sa taas, please. FGen, FGen is looking well. Ah. Gumawa siya ng higher high, but the downtrend is still intact. Baka mag breakout. Pag mag breakout ito, man, that, you, you look for a position already for FGen. Um... Patrick Orpeza, Gel Arios, download lang, nabasa natin to. Beverly Adriano Aguila, since hindi po auto-compounding sa si Izanagi, we read, read that also. ICT and DNL, ICT, alright, ICT, pull back and bounce, tagnan natin kung gumawa ba siya ng, ano, ng support. Um, uh, asa na yun? DNL. Alright, DNL, we're nearing resistances, so it's a no-buy for me already for DNL. Dapat dito sa support. So, ang ganda ng support sa DNL. Um, good evening, sir. Any thoughts on ASEN, downtrend, Monday and Converge? They're all on downtrend, Rebecca. Um, Barry Bacaltos, interested po ka, Axie. Paano po? Send me a message in Financial Freedom 101. Mitzi, uh, Vincula, Gonzalez. Sir Lloyd, what's your take on VZ and Timos? Thanks po. Let's check out VZ. Right. Um, technical analysis lang to. Verizon Communications. Downtrend, my friend. Let's see if ever mag-support man siya. Tignan, uh, dun sa support natin, uh, testing in. T-Mobile. Right, T-Mobile. T-M-U-S. Mukhang maganda yung volume niya. Alright, so engulfing pattern right here. Sa so, support na yan, pag nag-bounce, that's gonna be your buy. So let it bounce and that's your buy. LCN, SLP, USDT. Um, ito si SLP. This is for ano kasi. Uh, this is for Axie kasi. SLP, USDT, still on a sideways trend. So, so far, if ever gusto niyo trade ito, uh, 0.056 ang pinakamagandang entry point for SLP. Right, um, LC, Lepanto Corp, Lepanto Consolidation Mining Incorporated. Uy, mukhang uh, kung okay na ito. Ah. Pull back and bounce for Lepanto, right? So, mag-bounce yan, that's gonna be entry point. Your, sir, you're sa Ember Sword, Sir Lloyd, 
Magkano minimum investment po at mag-open po kayo na ulit ng slots, more power po. For now, yung Ember Sword natin, by the way, this is our uh, this is our lots already in Ember Sword. Apat po sila. Nasa outer outskirts po tayo. Mas maganda yun pag nasa edges tayo ng map kasi PvP maps are very near. So mara maraming mga magagaling na players dito na area nito. Ito yung pinakamaganda, this area right here, but we are already near that. This is still a very good position right here. So we were able to buy four lots. Total is 400k. So tig isa nito 100k. And one can be sold at... Um, asan ba yan? One can be sold at... Um, eto? Na, na benta ito ng 6.5 Ethereum. Right? Uh, 6.5 Ethereum is around 1.2 1.2 million ngayon. So, apat na 1.2 million ang in total natin. So, more than times 10 yung investment natin. So, sobrang ganda. For now, lands are full already. Hindi na tayo makabili. In, in the future, may opening and we can get we can apply for a city. I'll let you know, guys. Or maybe we can get another town. Hopefully, in the future, I'll let you know. Right? So, for now, wala pa tayong Ember Sword partnership opening pa muna. Uh, yung Axie lang muna. Just in case you're interested still. Let me know. Um, sir, no support ni Asen. We don't have any support for Asen just yet, sir. About ICT, can't decide when to sell. Po, um, sell some of it, right? Lapat dito palang sinel yun na. Sinel yun na si ICT. I'm not sure where you were able to get in in this support, if ever. Um, binilin din sa support. Uh, pag sunod na pula, dyan yung event type, ever ganun yung entry ninyo. Al HC from MJ, let's check out Al HC. Sir, nang support ni Asen, wala tayong support. Al HC, yan. Um, still, uh, that's already reversal, ma'am. Take profits na yan. Stay away from it. Piss ni, uh, sir, any news about MBT? Uh, wala namang news kay MBT. It's just that, sobrang lakas na lang akit niya. And that's the, that's the sell-off already. Right? Tingnan lang natin, if ever mag-sustain yung MA20, MA20 will be your support. And that's where you buy. Uh, Eric Benipayo, good evening, Sir Lloyd. Asen po. Asen is on a downtrend. Stay away from it uh, for Asen. Alright, so YouTube, tingnan ko lang. Last lang, daan na natin. Uh, Edwards, SoFi, NVIDIA pa check. Uh, Elburn, you will have PNB. Wala na tayong oras eh. Um, PNB, Sir, nakabusan or retracement lang ba? Let's check out PNB. Yeah, retracement lang yan. Uh, Kakasimula pala ng rally niyan. Um, Take profits na rin kasi. Uh, Ryan Dex around. Should I call? Should I sell DMC already? Or percentage lang? DMC. Uh, percentage lang. Right? Use MA20 as your major support. If ever it breaks MA20, sell everything. Congratulations. Uh, also, SEC B. Right? Sir Lloyd GFC pop pa insights. Uh, SEC B. Right? Last lang to. SEC B. Pull back and bounce. Yeah, you can sell some of it, man. GFC. Lastly, um, pull back pa si GFC. So, pull back and bounce. That's it for me this evening. Hopefully, marami kayo natutunan, right? Uh, especially yung topic natin kanina, which is about all-day IPO. Re little review about it. 70% um, of the IPO proce proceeds will be used to pay debts. Um, debts kasi gumawa sila ng mga, ano, gumawa sila ng uh, mga bagong branches, inutang nila yun, and it is at 8% na utang. Um, so, yung babayaran nila. So, that's a lot. 8% is big to pay. So, they're gonna be using the IPO. At least, hindi lang nila kailangan magbayad ng 8%. Kasi, nakover na yung utang nila. Instead of 8% na wala sa kanila uh, by paying the debt, it will turn into profits and that's very good. And then, the rest of it will be used to for their expansion already. So, it is still somehow good for, uh, for, uh, for uh, what do you call this? All day, right? And, 6 billion yung market cap niya. Medyo may kamahalan. Um, so, on strategy ni Arnel, with the current market conditions, there is a speculative play for it. It's not a strong buy. Speculative play. So, medyo gamble po siya and he's gonna be cutting his losses at 5% if ever the prices drop during the IPO day. Right? So, ganun ang strategy niya. He's not gonna be holding on to it because it's not a strong buy. And it's up to you if you follow that. But yeah, that's it for me. And Kapayama Arnel, that's it for the daily grind for this episode. Hopefully, na share nyo po itong video nito. Follow me in Financial Freedom 101. And also follow me here. Follow us here in Stocks and also send me a message sa uh, gusto mo partner up sa akin sa Axie. Doon po sa Financial Freedom 101. 
And then also Izanagi, right? If you want to take part of how strong Izanagi is as a bot, um, and just a video description, yung registration link and the video about it for you to learn more about it. That's it for me. And as always, see you tomorrow. Let's get rich together. Bye, everyone.